Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and let's look at this project. It's a Sudoku web application written using React framework. It looks really, really stylish. As you can see, every time you start a new game, you get a new field. There's a timer, the numbers that you can input into empty cells, and then a couple of options. Let's see, can I solve a couple? Well, this is one. Every time you have a number, it highlights other numbers visually. So, for example, 9 could be here, so it doesn't clash with others. So, I really like this implementation. It's nice, it's beautiful. Can we confirm the style of this application's components using Cypress, using open source visual diffing tools? Okay, so we have this project, let's fork it under my own account. As you can see, I'm doing everything from scratch. I'm gonna clone and download it. I got the URL. I will start a new project by cloning it. Sudoku. Okay, so let me zoom it a little bit. Let's see what we have right here. While we're doing it, I'm gonna install its dependencies. Uh, the project uses all the standard things. It uses React, React DOM, React scripts to run everything, moment for dates. It deploys to GitHub pages. We don't need GitHub pages of the testing libraries. I'm gonna remove this because we don't need this. Okay, so I think we can just install this mini list of dependencies. Now, in order for us to test the component, I'm going to use Cypress and Cypress React Unit Test. And for visual diffing, let's pick a plugin. So I'll go to Cypress plugins and I'll go to visual testing. There are a couple of plugins that people have written for Cypress that allow you to render the component into an image and compare that image with previous good image and tell you this color has changed or this font or layout of this component has changed visually. So on this list for a couple third-party tools like Apple tools, Hapo, Percy. The rest are open source plugins. These plugins allow you to compare images locally. So I'm gonna use this one called Cypress Image Snapshot. Okay, let's see. Still installing. Oh my goodness. Did I? Yeah, I did save it. Okay. Uh, we don't need deploy. On install. Okay, while this is installing, I'm gonna go ahead and create Cypress JSON file. So now it's empty. So now let's install test dependencies. So I'm gonna install Cypress, Cypress React Unit Test. And I'm going to install this Cypress image snapshot. While this is installing, let me open the Cypress React Unit S to see what we do we need to do actually use this okay so I'm installing it already and I will need to add this to Cypress support index file so I'm gonna create Cypress folder support and I'm gonna add index.js and I'm gonna copy this paste it there now we need to bundle our specs the same way as the source code is bundled because our application is using react scripts to run we will use this plugins file that will find react scripts find the webpack config and then use it to bundle the cypress specs the same way as your application bundle so the specs can import your application components so we'll need in cypress plugins folder and we'll have index file there 
and we'll just paste it there. Now, what do we need inside the Cypress JSON? Well, for now, the compound testing is an experimental feature, so we'll have to enable it in Cypress JSON. And we'll say components folder, that's where the specs will live, will be inside the source, because that's where our source resides, and our components reside. Excellent. So let's see. If we now do Cypress open, say well I need integration test we can delete those because we're not gonna use an integration test and instead let's see what else we have uh, our components well it found all source files so let's give our component test a file mask so test files our component test will only have spec GS in them okay so for now there is nothing okay so in our component there is an app that's the top level why don't we write app spec js right so it found it so we'll need to import react because well this is a react project and then we'll import app from app js Right, so this is the app. And now we'll need to import mount function from Cypress React unit test. So we'll describe the app component. It, I don't know, looks good. And we'll say mount app. So why are we mounting the app? Well, because for index.js, we're doing the same thing. We're importing the app and we're rendering into the document. Think of mount as render. Only instead of a document that you have to provide, it will know where is the Cypress iframe, I'll mount it there. So let's save it and let's click on the spec file name. What it does now, it actually loads my component, bundles it, and using mount hopefully mounts it inside the iframe so look at that notice we're not opening a page but we have the actual application running inside the iframe of a browser now i'm using electron browser but i might as well switch to uh, i don't know let's say chrome canary and launch the same test inside an external browser Right? Our component is right there and it works just like the real application. I can open the dev tools, inspect all the elements, things like that. Okay, so we just started with component testing. We're gonna write visual testing in the next video.